guys, it's me Noel and welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited for today's video because I'm gonna be doing another DIY and this time it's involving something I personally really love using in my projects. Drum roll please. We're gonna be using dried flowers. I just think there's something so elegant and charming about keeping a flower forever. I absolutely love receiving fresh flowers and I get really sad when they start to wilt and rot and I just don't like throwing them away. So instead of throwing them away, I'm giving them a new life by doing some DIY projects with dried flowers. So before we get into this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe button and let me know in the comments what DIY in this video was your favorite. Okay guys, let's get into to it. Hey guys, voiceover Noelle here. So for this DIY video, I'm gonna show you two DIYs using dried pressed flowers and the other two will be using just dried flowers. To press flowers, you're gonna need non-stick parchment paper. Lay out one piece of parchment paper in a heavy book and then you're gonna take the flowers you wanna press. They don't have to be fresh or anything. They could even be like a few days to a week old, just as long as they're not crackly or like dry already. I'm using these beautiful flowers from my sister's wedding, video on that coming soon. Cut your flowers down to your desired size. And I'm also using my hand to flatten them down. Once you have all your flowers on your parchment, you're gonna take another piece of parchment paper, lay it on top and carefully close your book. Place a couple more heavy books on top of this one and wait three to five days. The longer you wait, the better. I didn't really have time, so I waited three days-ish. And here are the results. I wasn't expecting the flowers to have like discoloration. Um, I was expecting it to retain its original color, but they still look cool. You could also use leaves or other plants for this DIY. I didn't end up pressing them because they were flat enough, but if you need to press them, go ahead and do that. So the first DIY we're gonna make are coasters. And I got inspiration from the Crafty Lumberjacks. I will link the video down below. And they did this really clever thing. Instead of using resin, they used these dollar store square frames and just used the glass part and made some beautiful coasters. So for one coaster, you're gonna need two glass pieces. Before working with them, make sure you wipe it down with a cloth or paper towel to get rid of any fingerprints or marks. And now I'm cutting these leaves off the stem. By the way, if any of you guys know the name of this plant that I'm working with here, it's like this sheer white kind of deal and I, it's just absolutely gorgeous and magical and I would love to know the name of it so please let me know if you guys know. Lay down one of your glass pieces and you're just gonna have fun, try different arrangements, see what looks good. Don't glue anything down yet just in case you don't like how it looks. For this, I'm just using Loctite super glue. I think any super glue would work fine. You don't want to go too ham on the glue because this is a clear coaster, so the glue will show on the other side. Next, you're just gonna place your second glass piece over top of the first. To close the edges, I'm just using this metallic tape I got from Hobby Lobby. I'm using the copper, but it's kind of like unraveled here. It's kind of crazy. I definitely struggled with this part. So if you guys wanna see a better version, make sure you watch the Crafty Lumberjacks video. They'll explain it a lot better. But I'm basically just taping on one side, folding it over on the edge, and then taping the other side. The final step is to add these little bumpers. Um, this is from the brand like Scotch, from Scotch Tape. And these are just rubber stickers that you put on the corners of your coaster so you don't damage your table. And so the coaster doesn't like slide around and have a good time and spill your drink everywhere. <laughs> And there you guys go, the first DIY. This is a beautiful gift. I actually gave these to my sister. Reaction video at the end and she loved them. The next DIY is gonna be a personalized photo frame and this one is my favorite of all the DIYs. I'm so excited to show you. You're just gonna take a photo frame, any frame works. I'm using this one I got from the dollar store because you know I like to save that money. And I'm just cutting a piece of paper to size that will fit in the frame. 
And now I'm laying these flowers on top of the paper I just cut out. I didn't press these ones, but it still worked out fine. But I think pressing them would make this process a little bit easier. Once you're happy with the placement, just hot glue the flowers down. And now just stick it in the frame. And it works because it's literally being squished against the glass. So it looks like they're pressed. But again, you could press them if you like. So now the fun part, I'm going to be using these white paint pens from the brand Pen Touch and pro tip acetone slash nail polish remover works as an eraser while you're doing this and you mess up a word or something, it comes right off with like a q-tip. So now you get to do whatever you want, wherever your creativity leads you. I decided to write a Bible verse and I decided to give this to one of my besties, Emily. You guys already know her. She's on this channel a lot. <laughs> um, so stay tuned until the end to see her reaction. But yeah, there's the second DIY for y'all. I hope you like this one. Third DIY is a garland. Y'all know I like my garlands. This one's super simple. You're just gonna need clothes pins, twine, tape. That's really it. Um, I got these clothes pins, like a pack of a hundred or something, at the 99 cent store. Make sure you hang the flowers upside down. And I'm alternating between like tall, short, medium size to give it some variation and visual interest. Look at his bandana. <laughs> I think this would look so cool in someone's room. By the way, over time, these flowers will dry even more. When I hung them up, they were still like a little bit fresh, but they will definitely dry over time and last a long, long time. The fourth and final DIY, I'm sad this is coming to an end because I love dried flowers, is another frame. You're just gonna do the same thing. You're gonna measure out a piece of paper and stick it in your frame. I realize this paper is a little bit unnecessary because we're going to cover it later on but if you just want to be like extra meticulous you could do this part i actually did this diy a few days after i did the garland so these are what the flowers ended up looking like off of the garland they were definitely a lot more dry so now i'm taking these leaves also don't know the species of leaf this is but i really like the shape it's like eucalyptus or something. Um, I think that's inaccurate. Let me just, eucalyptus. They're these like heart-shaped leaves, so cute. And I'm just arranging them in layers on the back of my frame as a background. You don't have to do this part, but I think it looks extra cool. And now that you have your background ready, you're just gonna stick your flowers on there. Be generous with the hot glue. You don't want the flowers coming off. But at the same time, keep in mind that the hot glue kind of spreads. So you don't wanna like see it peeking out. Kind of looks a little unprofessional when you see like a glob of glue hanging out. So try to be like discreet with it. And to finish it off, I'm taking these fuzzy long leaves. The, like, I'm not even lying to you guys, they're fuzzy. So weird and cute. And I'm just sticking it at the top and bottom for a little added accent. And there you go, guys, four very unique and charming dried flower DIYs. And that's it, some very cute and aesthetic dried flower DIYs for you guys. I think these DIYs could work really well as gifts or even as decorations for your own room. If you guys like these kinds of DIY videos, make sure you let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I appreciate you all and thank you for 3K subscribers. No words, no words. I can't believe it's happening, guys. It means so much to me that you guys like my content. I'm very excited for what 2021 has to bring. Um, but thank you guys for an amazing year. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Purple. I'm gonna cry. What is I, I dropped it. What is it? Uh, it's a frame. It's our frame um, for my wedding. Oh, nice. Oh. Wait, why am I not over there? Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> this from my bouquet? Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I love it, Noel. It's worth a million dollars. Oh. I can't believe it's like.
two days after Thanksgiving. <laughs> I got me a gift too. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. She's going to street in dignity. Proverbs 3, 31, 35. Like it, it looks professional, guys. Oh, thanks. This is how Noel's working. You know? <laughs>